traffic has been a mess all day near the Kern County, Los Angeles County line. It's a story we've been updating on you all day long. 23 ABC's Jessica Harrington live at that scene now with the latest details on when officials say the road will finally be reopened. Jessica? Hey, Tim. Well, as you can see, the cleanup is still going on. They still have not pulled the truck up from the embankment. They're still unloading the contents of the truck. And this all-day cleanup has caused quite the headache for drivers headed down south. At a doctor's appointment, had to go pay the bills, had to go get cat food, <laughs> had to get the money out of the bank. None of it is happening. Traffic at a standstill. Cars, trucks, and big rigs sitting like they're in a parking lot on southbound I-5. Well, coming up here, we actually drove for at least six to eight miles. And it's just one lane and it's just stopped. Three lanes were closed after a big rig truck blasted through the guardrail and over the edge late last night. The driver was taken to an area hospital with unknown injuries. The cleanup process was slowed down today because the truck was full of hazardous materials. Crews had to carefully unload it before they were allowed to haul the truck up, forcing many drivers to sit in the traffic or find a different route. So I'm going to take a little side route around it. To me, in my mind, it's going to be the same amount of time. So it makes no difference to me. It's going to take a different route, probably one to eight. Some drivers saying they're more concerned with the frequent accidents, not with the traffic. My biggest concern is, I mean, this is the second time it's happened in roughly the same general area. Last week, a FedEx truck also went over the embankment. That accident also backed up traffic for a few hours. But some drivers say there isn't much cause for concern, saying it's somewhat expected right now. You know, it's winter weather, and you just have to be safe on it. It's simple as that. You just have to drive cautiously and look out for other people. CHP says right now this accident is still under investigation and don't know whether drugs or alcohol played any role in this. But as you can see, the cleanup is continuing. CHP initially hoped to have all four lanes reopened by 6 o'clock. They've now said it will only remain two open lanes until further notice. Reporting live on the Grapevine, Jessica Harrington, 23 ABC.